Hey, Book Buddies, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about two animals, a hippo and a bird, who may or may not dress up as Princess and the Pea for the fairy tale ball. And in our other book, we're going to visit a Jewish folk tale that's called Too Much Noise. And it's about a man who just can't go to sleep because his house is too noisy. I Don't Want to Be a Pea by Anne Bonwell and published by Athenaeum Books. All hippos have birds, and Bella is mine. Correction, all birds have hippos, and Hugo is mine. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, tonight is a very special night. It is the night of the hippo bird fairy tale fancy dress party. You mean the bird hippo fairy tale fancy dress party. Whatever, the important part is we have decided on a costume. We are going to go dressed as the princess and the pea. Don't we look lovely? But I don't want to be a pea. It's too green and small. Instead, I will be a mermaid and you will be my rock. You make a very fine rock. I don't want to be a rock. It is too gray and blobby. But you are gray and blobby. I will ignore that comment. How about a king and his jester? You look smashing. I look ridiculous. We are not going to be a king and his jester. Let's try Cinderella and her pumpkin. I will not be a pumpkin. Look how very orange I am. I think you look rather nice orange. Thank you, but I will still not be a pumpkin. It's getting late. We're going to miss the party because of you. If we miss the party, it will be because of you. You are the one who refused to be a pea in the first place. If you like peas so much, then you could be the pea and I will be the princess. Uh -oh. Besides, I don't even want to go to the party with you anymore. Well then, neither do I. I've never been to the bird hippo party without Hugo. Perhaps I could be a pea after all. The party won't be the same without Bella. And she would make a beautiful princess. Look, getting this pumpkin off. What a strange costume. Who are you? asked Big Bad Hippo. And who are you? asked Little Red Riding Bird. I am Hugo, Bella's hippo. I am Bella, Hugo's bird. They're both dressed as bees. And we've come to the fancy dress party as... The happy ending. Oh, don't they look cute? Our next story is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats and their name was Gruff. There was the big billy goat Gruff and the middle billy goat Gruff and the tiny billy goat Gruff. One day, they realized that they had eaten all the grass on their hillside. So they decided that they would go over to the green hillside and eat all the grass and make themselves fat. There was a bridge they had to cross to get to that hillside and under that bridge lived a troll with very sharp teeth and a nose as long as a cucumber. The first to cross was the tiniest billy goat. Trip, 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 trip. Who's that tripping on my bridge, said the troll. It is I, the tiniest billy goat gruff. I'm going to the hillside to make myself fat. Now I'm going to eat you up, said the troll. No, wait, 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 no, no, don't eat me. Wait until the second billy goat comes across. He's much bigger and he'll make a much better meal. Very well, said the troll. And he let the little billy goat cross. Next came the second billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, cross the bridge. 
Who's that crossing my bridge and making all that noise? said the troll. It is I, the second billy goat gruff. I am crossing to the green hillside to eat everything I can and make myself fat. The troll said, now I'm going to eat you all up. And the second billy goat gruff said, oh, wait a minute. No, you don't want to eat me. Wait until the great big billy goat comes across. He'll make a much better meal. He's much meatier and juicier than I am. Well then, off you go, said the troll. And off went the second billy goat gruff to join his brother on the lovely green hillside. Soon, the great big billy goat gruff crossed the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that trapping on my bridge, said the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff said the billy goat. I am going to the green hillside to make myself fat. Now I'm going to eat you, said the troll. Very well, said the big billy goat gruff. Then I will just butt you and toss you in the river. And that's just what he did. He butted the troll and the troll fell in the river and the great big billy goat gruff went to the green hillside with his brothers. And if that hillside is still green today, those billy goats gruff are still there. And snip, snap, snap, our tails all out. The end. Our last story is a prompt story. It's based on Too Much Noise by Anne McGovern, published by Houghton Mifflin. A long time ago, there was an old man his name was Peter, and he lived in an old, old house. The bed great, the floor squeaked. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees, and the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter. Peter went to the wise man of the village. My house is too noisy. What can I do? And the wise man said, get a cow. A cow? What good is a cow? But Peter got the cow anyhow. That night, the cow went moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter. So he went back to the wise man. It's still too noisy, the wise man said. Get a donkey. A donkey? What good is a donkey? But Peter got the donkey in hand. That night, the donkey went hee-haw. The cow went moo-moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees, and the leaves fell on the roof. Swish-swish. And the tea kettle went hiss-hiss. Too noisy, said Peter. And back he went to the wise man. It's still too noisy. Get yourself a sheep, said the wise man. A sheep? What good is a sheep, said Peter. But Peter got a sheep anyhow. That night, the sheep went, <laughs> the donkey said, hee -haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed great. The floor squeaked. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. 
too noisy, said Peter, who still couldn't sleep, and back he went to the wise man. It is still too noisy. I can't sleep. Get yourself a hen, said the wise man. A hen? What good is a hen? But Peter got himself a hen anyhow. That night, the hen went cluck cluck. The sheep went baa baa. The donkey went hee haw. The cow went moo moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, and the wind outside blew the leaves through the trees, and the leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. <sighs> Peter was so angry, he still couldn't sleep. So he ran back to the wise man. This is impossible, he said. I can't sleep at all. It's too noisy. And the wise man said, Get yourself a dog and a cat. A dog and a cat, said Peter. What good is that? But he got a dog and a cat anyhow. That night, the cat went meow. The dog went woof, woof. The hen went cluck, cluck. The sheep went baa, baa. The donkey went hee haw. The cow went moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The wind outside blew the leaves through the trees. The leaves landed on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Enough is enough, said Peter, it's too noisy. And he zoomed right back to that wise man and he said, this is entirely impossible. I cannot sleep, it's noisier than ever. Then do as I say, said the wise man. Okay, said Peter. And the wise man said, get rid of the cat and the dog. Get rid of the hen. And so Peter did. Get rid of the sheep. Peter got rid of the sheep. Send the donkey home. Peter sent the donkey home. Get rid of the cow. And Peter got rid of the cow. And once all of the animals were back in the barn, Peter climbed into bed. And the bed creaked. What a lovely, quiet noise, said Peter. And the floor squeaked. What a quiet noise, smiled Peter. And outside, the wind blew the leaves and the trees, and the leaves landed on the roof. Swish, swish. What a lovely sound, said Peter. And the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. What a quiet sound, said Peter. And the bed creaked, and the floor squeaked. And Peter snored himself to sleep. The end. Okay, book buddies, it's time for our goodbye rhyme, so everybody stand up. You ready? Okay. Book buddies, book buddies, turn around. Book buddies, book buddies, touch the ground. Book buddies, book buddies, tap your toes. Book buddies, book buddies, row, row, row your boat. Book buddies, book buddies, jump up high. Book buddies, book buddies, touch the sky. Book buddies, book buddies, don't you giggle. I hear you, no giggling. Book buddies, book buddies, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Book buddies, book buddies, time to fly. Book buddies, book buddies, wave goodbye. Bye. See you next time.